Beans Day, but we have not seen the Beans vignettes. And so that is what we are gonna be doing now. Oh, Jack is my favorite too. I love him. He's just, he just, he's just like your dream man, you know? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like for me, he's like my dream guy, you know? He's like, he's like protective and like strong, but he's also like cuddly, you know? Like he's just, he's just the perfect, he's the perfect man in my opinion. <laughs> You know, like, Azul is conniving, whereas, like, Jack is, like, just genuine and would give you, like, a big hug. You know, that's how I see them. Azul is my favorite as well, I will admit. I will say, Azul is my favorite, but Jack is... Jack and Azul are very, like, they're basically the opposite sides of the spectrum, but yet, like, I am attracted to both of them. Monster Team Freshman sighted, uh, 500 meters back. We can still get away. Just run as hard as your legs can carry you. I've been doing that. Ah, behind you, huh? Grabbing arm, activate. Ah! The glove grew ginormous and snagged me. In fact, it snagged both of us at once. Oh, all right, let's go. How could a freshman close a 500 meter gap in seconds? What kind of super speed does he have? And I'm caught up. Man, Jack is seriously fast. That brings you up to, what, 20 captures? You're really carrying the team. You're telling me one guy bagged that many? It's pretty easy to do when so many of you are walking around in herds. By the way, Ruggy, wasn't Azul with you? Huh? He was just running behind me. <laughs> Please, wait up. Oh, here he comes. Come on, Azul, you got this. Only 200 meters to go. He's practically dragging himself. Ah, <sighs> finally caught up. <sighs> Ever think about working on your stamina? <sighs> Ever think about how yours is inhuman? You ran for 30 minutes straight and you're not even breathing heavily. And I thought that was normal. Even my younger siblings play tag from morning to afternoon. They go for like six hours at a time. Are you serious? That's equivalent to running a full marathon. That's not normal at all, Jack. Even I would be dog-tired if I had to run for six hours straight. Really? Wow. If we let Jack set the pace for our group, Azul's gonna get separated from us sooner or later. I don't want to be abandoned and left at the enemy team's mercy. I suggest we formulate a more effective plan. You've got a point. No reason to sacrifice a perfectly good ally. How about this? The next time we find a target... <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> and this is why he needs the extra credit. He's not, he's not very athletically inclined, you know what I'm saying? Beastman genetics, but like Ruggy is a beast man too. It seems like that Jack is like, you know, Jack is special. <laughs> Your back is to the wall. Give it up. Ha! I can still pull to the other side. I just have to make it to the woods uh, to the right. Okay. Ruggy, now jump behind the bushes and block his way. <laughs> Boo! Did I scare ya? <laughs> Ruggy from Savannah Claw? Okay, maybe if I make a break for the woods on the left? Nice try, but I'm afraid this is also a dead end. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy blocking the opposite way too. And that's Capture 21. Your herding strat is paying dividends, Jack. I have the obvious advantage with the grabbing arm. So I give chase to enemies and will lead them to an ambush point where you guys wait. This is so smart. Like the intelligence king. Like he's just, he's just so cool. Like Jack's just so cool. This makes it so I'm the only one who has to do extensive running and Azul doesn't test the limits of his non-existent stamina. <laughs> That's so true. I feel the need to point out I have perfectly average stamina. It's yours that's a statistical outlier, Jack. But I must say, I have rather impressed. When you offered a plan, I was expecting it to be something along the lines of, I rushed the enemy down with my incredible reserves of energy. Oh my god, almost rhyming. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Jack does look like a brute force jock type at first glance. <laughs> but this hurting strat has turned out to be slow and a slow and steady way to produce reliable results. Wolves are careful and deliberate, you know. That's why we hunt with our legs rather than our fangs. I'll freely admit I enjoy direct head-on competitions the most, though. Makes it clear which side is better and which side is worse. <laughs> I'm glad I had the opportunity.
opportunity to team up with you in this game, Jack. I can see I wasn't giving you enough credit before. Now then, we have more enemies to capture. Let's get back to it, shall we? Ugh, don't give me orders. If only you were more cooperative, I'd hold you in even higher esteem. <laughs> what is it, boy? You smell something? <laughs> There's someone farther back in the woods. Let's see who it is. Okay. Is it Rook? I don't know why. Rook is always in the- like, Rook is always in these woods, bro. <laughs> Are you sure there's someone back here, Jack? Yeah, I'm sure. There's something mixed in with the scent of the forest. I think it's... Ah, there! In the tree up ahead! Someone sprawled on the tree branch! Hey, monster team dudes! What's up? Oh my god, it's Floyd? Okay! Floyd? Jack, Ruggy, I suggest you tread carefully. He might be alone, but you'll find him to be a formidable opponent regardless. I don't care how tough he is. I'm here to capture farmers and I don't make exceptions. Oh my God. Yeah, cause like in our story, Floyd like didn't want, like, you know what I mean? Floyd was like, yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he was like, I don't want to play. So he's just big chilling. I love this. I love that we get to see like what Floyd was doing when we weren't like looking sort of thing, you know? Yeah, I love that too, because I really thought during the Beans Day event um, that like Azul and Jade and like Floyd were all like planning against them, you know what I mean? Like I thought that they were gonna let Azul win, but I, I really am impressed at the fact that they like actually took competition with Azul seriously and didn't just like let him win, right? Like Azul genuinely is afraid of him because they don't have like some conniving plan to cheat. Like they are doing it entirely fair and square, you know? Like he knows what the two of them are capable of and he also knows that there's nothing holding them back. And I think that's really cool. Don't you have better, don't you have better things to do? I'll let you go if you just keep on walking. Ugh, look at you all sprawled out like a slop taking a nap. Are you implying that we're not worth your time? Not quite. I'm guessing that Floyd is feeling rather unmotivated to fight at present. His sprawling posture in the branches it isn't a taunt. It's simply an indication that fleeing would be more of a bother to him. Look, man, I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather be doing the chasing than be the one getting chased. Sure wish I could have drawn on the monster team. Hey, any of you feel like switching sides? Nobody would do that. Gentlemen. This is the perfect chance to capture Floyd before he decides like he feels like putting re forth a real effort. Yeah, Floyd's no joke when he's got a fire in his belly. We played a spell dive match in class once. He started out goofing off in the corner like he was totally checked out. But once he got serious, I couldn't handle him on my own and I'm in the spell dive club. So he's a tough customer. That's gonna be a problem. Yes, see? If we are in agreement, then take your glove and no way. Pardon? If both you and Ruggy are afraid to face him head on, that just makes me want to fight him at his best. Uh, what? Do you have any idea what you're suggesting? Ruggy, talk some sense into this freshman. You're his vice house warden. Sorry, but I can't talk about a squat. Jack's got a stubborn streak and he's physically stronger than me. No point in even trying. I guess it was only a matter of time until some aggravating twist came up. I wasn't interested in making a real game out of this to start with. I think it's high time to find an excuse to duck out. Hey, are you guys done flapping your jaws yet? See, so I wonder if like Floyd Beans Day is gonna be like when he actually decides he wants to try. If you're not gonna trade places with me, then how about you go away and stop disturbing my afternoon nap? I don't see why us monsters should do a single thing a farmer says. Uh oh. That's not good. <gasps> Goodness, that was quite the powerful kick Jack de Jack delivered to Floyd's tree. Ha, <laughs> talk about leg day. I could feel the impact all the way where we were standing. Hey man, what's your problem? You almost knocked me off my branch there. Yeah, that's the point. Oh my God. Knock it off, sea urchin. You wanna get squeezed that bad? You finally decided to come down. Good, now we can fight properly. Floyd looks so peeved, it's kind of scary. Oh, 
Oh, come on. We had a free capture right for the taking, and you did the most counterintuitive thing possible. How about I teach this dog some discipline? My bean launcher ought to have put some respect in you. Well, I'll be. Here I thought you'd been slacking off the whole time, but no. If you got a bean launcher, you must have gotten the gumption to go on a supply run. Nah, I went to catch some Z's as soon as the game started. Some guy gave it to me. He wouldn't get off my case about joining his team or whatever, so I gave him a dirty look and he just handed it over. I don't know, that sounds more intimidating a guy than taking his stuff to me. Who cares? The point is, nobody disturbs my nap time. Uh-oh, well, here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me, you just made me waste a bean. What did you have to go and dodge for? I don't much appreciate that. That was some precision aiming. Floyd is truly dangerous when he's sufficiently motivated. But that evasive manner just now was a downright jaw-dropping display of reflexes from Jack. Ha! That's way better! I knew you were good! You're supposed to be getting scared, not more excited! Aw, oh, this is so cool! Whoa! He's firing beans left and right! We gotta be careful or we'll get caught in the crossfire! Whoa, was all look out! Huh? Oh, that's how Ruggy got out! Feels sad, man. Whoopsie Daisy, I was aiming for Azul there, but I hit Shark Sucker instead. Oh well. <sighs> I got tagged with a farmer's team bean, so I'm out. Sorry guys, best of luck. R Ruggy! Oh, I'm gonna make this guy pay! Oh yeah, we're getting that shonen, shonen anime action! Ruggy, why does it feel like you dove in front of me to catch that bean on purpose? Oh psh! That's just silly. Anyway, got a jet. Take care of our little frosh, Azul. Oh, man. This is so much fun. I love this. Like, we don't see Floyd for the entire time. He just comes in and fucks with everything. It's great. Oh, yo, Floyd, I've got a bone to pick with you. What's that? Are you mad I murked Shark Sucker? Ha, <laughs> that's rich. Keep laughing while you can. It won't be for much longer. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Oh, cool! Because I've decided I'm gonna capture you personally. Oh my god, Jack, looks so good! Get ready, Floyd Leech! This one's for Ruggy. <laughs> oh, that was so cool! Yay! Oh, I love that. And there's the groovy art. Oh my god, it looks so good. Yeah, that was really cool. I love, I just love Jack. I love his sense of spirit. Like, you know, he won't fight someone when he's down. He'll only fight them if, like, they... I don't know how to explain. Like, he'll he'll fight them if they're, like, willing to fight. You know, a gentleman's honor, basically. Like, Jack is just... He's so gentlemanly. He won't take the cheap shot at Floyd. He'll only go for Floyd if Floyd is willing to fight. He won't kick someone while they're already down. You know? I like that. I like Jack so much. And, like, look at him and his little tail and little things. He's just so cute. Oh, man. Not half bad. Oh, okay. Oh, look at a little smile, too. Okay, so we have groupified Jack, guys. Now we have Azul's turn. Halt, farmer! Halt, I say! Did you think you could just get away from us? You don't know when you're outmatched. <sighs> Shh! My last bean whiffed! You led us on a merry chase, but the game's up, deuce! Yeah, I know! Like, hi, Ace and Seabeck! Like, what? <laughs> what? The monster team is bound to win. Now accept your fate! Right. I think I'm done for. Deuce, get down! I don't know who that is, so... Wait, what? Did I just get beamed? Are you kidding me? <gasps> what, in blazes? I've... I've been beamed! <laughs> Hi, Riddle! That didn't even amount to a pre-tea time workout for me! Huh, are you kidding me? Of all the people to run into, it's my own house warden! Talk about lousy luck! Tragic turn indeed. House Warden Riddle, thank you for saving me, sir. Lower your voice. You never know how close the monster team might be. Whoops, sorry, I... Oh, uh, House Warden, watch out! Uh, do... Deuce? Deuce, are you okay? I... 
think I dodged that one by a whisker. Oh, British! Is Riddle supposed to be British? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll, I, I can make an attempt. What was that, though? This is netting? Uh, I don't know who's talking. You know, most people would choose to save their own skin there, but not you, Deuce. You risk your own personal welfare to save Riddle. Who's there? Oh, okay, it's Azul. <laughs> Good. We don't know, but it's a popular headcanon. Okay. What a touching display of loyalty for one's house warden. Why, it's enough to move me to tears. Azul, were you the one who threw that net at us? Ugh, I'm out of beans, house warden. I think we better run and don't move. <laughs> don't turn your back to him. He could still have more captured gadgets up his sleeve. <laughs> The British is disappearing! Look at what Azul's equipped with. He's got a magic camo jacket, a captured net, and even a field scanner. Huh, I see. The hearts and bold house warden remains level-headed and observant under pressure. Oh, wait, what's this field scanner thing you're talking about? See those goggles he's wearing with the antennae sticking out? They let him see field coordinates for all players at set intervals. It's a piece of gear so rare that there exists but one of them in the entire game. In fact, wait a minute. That's... what how? What's wrong, House Warden Riddle? The items in the supply plates are random. No player should have been able to acquire so many rare items. The game has barely begun, and he's already fully committed. There's no way it's merely a coincidence. <laughs> breaking any rules, are you? Azul, I demand an explanation of how you procured that equipment. <laughs> Very well. For you, Riddle, I'll be happy to eludicate. Well, it all began a year ago. A year? Oh, this is gonna be a longer story than I was expecting. Okay. Wait, so is he cheating? Is he not cheating? Like, you know, do we know? It all began a year ago. But I wonder if the game ever got an EN dub, which I think would be really, really cool, would they do like a British accent for Riddle and stuff? Because that's a good question. It's interesting, you know? Man, I'm wiped. I want to catch some Zs. As do I. Good night to you both, Azul. Lloyd. Good night to you as well. Hmm. Ugh. I know I'm out of my element when it comes to terrestrial athletics, but what galls me is just how easily I got captured by the monster team. Oh, okay, so this was last Beanfest and he's mad. Beanfest is an essential event if I want to earn a higher grade in PE. I need to make absolutely sure I win next year. What must I do to guarantee it? The deciding factor this year wasn't physical prowess. It was gear. I looked out and got help from a rare gearsmith himself, but whether he and I draw the same team next year or not is a roll of the dice. Oh, Ida? Was it Ida? Bro, is it Ida? Oh no, that's actually interesting. Could, who else would it be? I need to come up with a reliable winning strategy that relies on gear I can obtain from the supply crates. If I get placed on the farmer team, I'll need the bean blaster to ensure I can keep my distance from the monster team. And if I get placed on the monster team, what's the key item there? A grabbing arm? Perhaps a capture net or a camouflage jacket? No, it's none of those. For both teams, there is one item more valuable than any other, the field scanner. With that, I'll have a complete grasp of everyone's positions, regardless of the team. I'll have perfect battle awareness. I've had plenty of practice strategizing in the board game club. I could capitalize on the scanner intel without letting it be it be squandered. But relying on pure luck when it comes to opening loot crates isn't a winning proposal either. No, I can't hinge my plan on chance in any form. Tomorrow, I'm going to start gathering intel to ensure I get my hands on a scanner at next year's Beanfest game. Okay. So that's how it happened. Leona? Oh no, he's just interviewing people. I see, I see. 
Even Malleus? Damn, Azul's not afraid of Malleus? Good. We love to see it. I asked around with my upperclassmen and figured out the trick. The locations and contents of the supply crates change each year. And who decides where they go and what goes in them? The ten members of Beanfest Management Committee. The question then becomes, who are the lucky ten people that make it onto this illustrious committee? Okay. The rest was simple. I just happened to learn of some woes that were plaguing each member of the committee when they were visiting the Monstro Lounge. And then I kindly offered them all a personal consultation about their troubles. Translation, you blackmailed them into spilling the beans. And you've been working on this for a whole year? That, that doesn't even make sense. Why would you spend a whole year preparing to earn extra credit when you could just try harder in PE and get the same result? Why would someone naturally athletic like you know of my suffering? Nothing. <clears throat> anyway, to cut a long story short, I learned what a field scanner would be. All I had to do was claim it on game day. My master plan was perfectly laid. But just one week out of, from being fest, there was a bit of a curveball. And that was... Looks like all the house wardens are present. Let's hear the event overview from the chairman of the Beanfest Management Committee. Uh, just some random kid? Okay. Right, first let's go over the gear list. It's just gonna be the same as last year's, right? Yeah, nothing new here. Wait. What's this one field scanner listed at the bottom? Uh, who oh, listed at the bottom here? Oh, that's a set of goggles that updates the field's coordinates on both teams at set intervals by... Why would he ask when it's the same gear as last year? What a waste of everyone's time. And that's how it works. I see. Hmm. I say we scrap such things. Oh, what? I tolerated them last year, but sneaky gadgets have no place in Beanfest. This game's all about what I have. And by that, I mean muscle. Uh, what? What in the deep blue sea? What do you say, House Wardens? Can we cut the field scanner this year? I'm okay with that. Go ahead. I'm not going to quibble over field equipment trivialities. This is bad. My whole plan is about to come unraveled. I have to stop this. Oh, God. Now I'm going in a riddle's voice. I have to stop this before they strike the field scanner off the list. That jock of a coach probably considers me a mere bean counter. I strongly doubt he'd take me seriously. And I might give away my own game if I speak up. What's the play in that case? Wait, slow down. Huh? Oh, okay, so somebody else spoke up. That's interesting. What? Is there an objection? The floor is yours, Rosenheart. Oh, it was Riddle's fault? <laughs> That's so funny, Riddle. Let Azul to get it. <laughs> students on this campus who aren't physically inclined but still put forth a diligent effort in PE. Their rules for being fest are already overwhelmingly skewed in the favor of athletic students as it is. Strategy and quick thinking are supposed to be bloister, phys bl bloister physical activities. If students like myself have our tactical options removed, then the best strategy for us to bloister our grades would be to find a hiding place and spend the whole day in it. Oh, uh, yes, there's definitely, uh, that's definitely no way to strength train. The point of the Beanfest games isn't to establish who the best athlete is. It's to have a school-wide PE event in which everyone can fully participate. And for that, I say we need the field scanner. When you put it that way, it does start to sound less trivial. I agree with Riddle. It's better to be inclusive of people more than less. <laughs> Well, that carries a lot of weight coming from you, Rosehearts. I know you always give 110% in my classes. All right. The field scanner is back on the table. Any house wardens opposed? Not I. <laughs> oh, God. Not I. No objections here. <laughs> yes, crisis averted. Everything is in place. Now all that's left is to execute the plan on game day. Oh my goodness, so riddled in this! And that's the story of how I came to be wearing this scanner. 
Ordinarily, I wouldn't amass a scheme so freely. But I want to thank you personally, Riddle, so I'm making an exception. <clears throat> I just wanted everyone to have a more level playing field for a happy beans day. I can't believe I played right into your hands. <laughs> ah, the look of utter vexion on your face is priceless. If he throws that net again from this distance, there's no way I can avoid it. I'm done for. I can't let the boss go out there. I'll take the fall for him if I have to. Goodness gracious, you don't have to gla glower so. Hmm? The capture net disappeared? What's your game, Azul? I make it a point to never incur debts. I couldn't have gotten the scanner without you, Riddle. So I'll let you go, just this once. Now, we're even. Oh, don't blame me if this comes back to haunt you later. Oh, I'm shaking. I'll be happy to give you a fair fight should we cross paths again. Come then, Deuce, we're leaving. Yes, sir. Excuse us, Azul. You're quite excused. From me, that is. After them, Jack. Their guard will be lowered right now. You should be able to grab them from behind without breaking a sweat. I keep telling you not to order me around. <laughs> I've been preparing for this day all year. No one can stand against me. Victory is within my reach. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. That was so good. We love to see it. I just like love Azul's like intelligence and like, you know, how he plays the game. Like Azul's just, he's so, he's so sexy, you know? He's just so sexy. So like, that's, that's uh, no thoughts, head empty, just sexy Azul. But I do love like the little twisty twist of Riddle being the one to encourage it, you know? Like Riddle encouraged it. And now it's coming back to bite them. Yeah. Azul is just perfect in every way for me. <laughs> for me, Azul is perfect in every way. All right, gotta get that cater voice. You guys know it. If you've been in the stream before, you know it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All these monster team attacks are wearing me out. Supply points provide goods that give the discoverer an advantage in the game. But they are also prime locations for an ambush. And while Deucey did a great job as bait, I don't think he took out a single guy. We're likely to be swarmed with enemies before we can even reach the harp at the, in the Colosseum. No kidding, and for some reason, this area in particular is just crawling with them. I think we're up the creek without a paddle, folks. But, but we just got started. I don't want to lose right out of the gate. Well, I guess it's time for KK to take his bean blouster on a scouting run and see if he can find you lot a sate route through. You guys keep a low profile and make sure the monster team doesn't spot you. All right, Cal, Grim, the three of us will be sitting tight for a bit. Okay, BRB. This seems like the noisiest area right here. Holy moly, that's a lot of monsters and they're facing one farmer. Oh my God. Malleus? Yeah, where the fuck has Malleus been this whole game, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't see Malleus at all. Like, and they're all scared of him. So, I mean, I guess Malleus can't use magic, so he may be at a disadvantage here. Because that's the only reason why everyone's afraid of him is because he's, like, super magic power, you know? It's Malleus, and he's completely ungeared. If we can capture him, we'll have this game in the bag. Bagging boys, oh boy. Oh, okay, why's Ma- My, my, oh gosh, I didn't expect Malleus to sound like that. My, my, oh my god. Cal, Malleus is a dragon, I know, but like, still, still, he's st still. I mean, I guess that's right, he's a beast man like Jack, but like, we know that he didn't win because Azul wins. And so what happened to him, you know? Like what happened to him later in the thing, in the story? Right? Okay, hold on. I need to like, I need to process Malleus, my Malleus voice. My, my, dozens of monsters against one farmer. Isn't that the opposite of what happened in the tale? Ah, oh, I can't grab him. 
He keeps slipping through my fingers. Wow, look at the, wow. Wow, why did I do this? Wow, wow, look at those sick moves. He's so nimble, it's basically cheating. I guess that explains why all the monsters are here. They all wanna go after Malleus. Makes sense too, if they didn't actively take him down, he'd yoink the harp in no time flat. Well, I've cracked the case. Too bad that doesn't improve my prospects at all. One slip up and I'm guaranteed to get spotted. I really need to get back to the rest of the group though. What if? Yeah, that should do the trick. Mm -mm. Guys, guys, there's a bunch of farmers coming and they've all got beam blasters. We gotta scram. Uh-oh, fall back everyone, fall back. So Cater basically saved Malleus for like no reason, <laughs> basically. There we go, poof, no more monsters. Am I a genius or what? Is that you, Diamond? Oh, uh, you notice me there, Malleus. Oh wait, they're on the same team, so of course you would help him. I'm dumb, I thought Malleus was on the opposite team for some reason. Oh, okay, so Cater helped Malleus. Very nice, I now understand. I have, uh, my brain cells have been regained. I, I'm good, okay. So Cater is saying that if Malleus is like rescued, they have this in the bag, basically. That's why he wanted to rescue him. I could tell someone was hiding in the bushes. I only recognized it was you by your voice when you scared the monsters off. I must say, it's rather unusual for a human to side with me. Were you hoping for a reward of some kind? Nah, not really, but <laughs> if you're offering one, I wouldn't say no. See, my armband, we're both on the same team here. It's common sense for us to help each other out. <laughs> anyway, you gotta play smart in competitions like these, Malleus. Wouldn't you have it easier if you avoided the opposing team, you know, since you're unarmed? Hmm, is that how you're supposed to play? Yeah, pretty much. And here I was enjoying a rare bit of excitement. Well, as long as... Well, as long as you're way off far from the rest of us, go nuts. I gotta get going. All right. I'll keep my fingers crossed that you survive to the end. In fact, let's snap a pic for good luck. Whoa, never mind, he's gone. Shh, moves fast. So Cater has still not gotten his Malleus photo is what I'm hearing from this, like from the other vignettes. Like he's still not getting his Malleus photo. Yeah, exactly. So somebody must have gotten Malleus. That's a good question. Uh, could Cater take any longer? Do you think he's gotten monster napped? Boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> Ah! Uh, Cater, you made me jump out of half of my fur yelling behind me like that. Maybe you shouldn't have bowed mouth me then? What kind of wimp do you take me for? You wound me. <laughs> Boo hoo. So, did the recon turn up anything useful? Yep, turns out all the monsters were out in full force to capture Malleus. Ah, they wanted to overwhelm a powerful opponent with sheer numbers. Uh, Malleus? We'd be sitting, oh God, we'd be sitting pretty if he wasn't our group. Yo, Bozo, you should have invited him to join us. Damn, that Bozo makes me want to do like a very Boston accent for Grimm somehow, like a New Jersey accent, you know? New Jersey accent. <laughs> oh boy. That's all I think about. <laughs> Why am I like this? I, I, maybe I'll try it. Just make Grim like a 50 year old chain smoker voice instead of like Morgana from Persona 5. <laughs> I think there would have been too many cons. He's strong, but the way he stands out, we get way more enemies on us than we would otherwise. Which is why it would be fine for Malleus. He could totes get away, but the rest of us would have a way harder time. Huh, so it ain't just, it, it ain't just enough to be stupidly powerful in this game. I gotta remember that with what me being in the same boat. Oh boy, I don't know what that was. You're a clever gra guy, Grimmy. Anyway, we should probably shake a leg. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> okay, <laughs> shake a leg. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you and Grim don't know who Malleus is, which I think is so funny because like we spend like time with him and we have no idea who he is, which I think is hilarious. Oh my god. 
If we head for the Colosseum from a different direction as Malleus, we'll be m way safer. I agree with Cater's assessment. Then it's settled. We're taking the scenic route. All right. There's only one man who could defeat Malleus. I mean, if we're going by lore, I would say Silver, but I can't remember what team Silver's on. If I'm going by like feeling, like the feeling I have in my heart, um, I don't know. Silver's on the farmer team. God damn it. I don't know anything. I keep forgetting. Ah, okay. Maybe it was Jamil then. Why not? It could have been. Okay, but that's the thing. You think Ida wouldn't be able to do it, but Ida has to be participating, right? Like, he can't skip it. It's like school-wide mandated event. So maybe like that's the whole thing is like Ida has like super strats because he's a gamer, you know? He's a gamer, right? I don't know. We'll see. Oh dear, I've been completely separated from Cater, Cal, and Grimm. I wasn't expecting them to come under attack while I was away for such a brief time. The writing was on the wall, I suppose. I've got a means of rejoining them whenever I see fit. I'll spend a bit more time acting separately for now. It was certainly worth the detour regardless. I was able to get a hold of what I was looking for. An in... in... inisil mushroom? Inisicle? Isil? Icicle? Icicle. A mushroom. Oh wait, Mr. Smith is an actual person? What? What's it? Oh, an icicle. Like ice, like actual ice. Wait, 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 wait. Am I stupid? Is that how you spell icicle? Like the ones that hang from like, you know, the, your roof and, and stuff? An icicle mushroom? What? Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Oh no. <laughs> yes, you are! <laughs> no! I didn't know it! Isiko! <laughs> Not the Isiko! <laughs> no! Okay. Mr. Smith is a real person! <laughs> what is happening? Oh! Is that. Mr. S? Is that Sam? Sam Smith? Is that who- what? Okay, okay, hold on. We've got everything in stock. What are you in the market for? Actually, what I want is out of stock. Huh? That's impossible, I say. I'm afraid you'll find there is a way. We're all here for Beanfest today. Perfect, password accepted. You must be here for Mr. Smith. Oh, okay, so he's not Mr. Smith either! What is happening? <laughs> Step right around behind the counter and up to the wall. Secret door open, says me. Open says me. Open says me? Not open sesame? Hello there, Mr. Smith. Or sh I knew it was Ida! Yeah, I knew it! See, that's what I was saying, bro! Yeah, that's what I said! Oh my god. I'm Jade with Octo Vanille. Might I have a word with you? You- Oh god, okay. He's so scared, oh, Ida. <clears throat> you, you know my secret identity? Yes, let's just say a little seagull told me. I'm also aware that you supply Sam with potent hand-built bean blasters every year. Isn't that right, Sam? Sure is, Ida's gotta pay me back somehow for using this shop as his hidey hole. Wait, what? This whole school-wide game of tag is even more of a jock fest than spell dive tournaments. I want no part of it. I'm just chilling out here and waiting for the final buzzer to sound. Okay, so Ida stays here every year and hides. That's what they're saying. So he was one of the four farmers that was existing still. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. There's no rule that explicitly forbids making our own bean ba blasters. You've exploited a loophole and worked out a mutually beneficial arrangement. Frankly, I admire your resourcefulness. Would you care to share the specs of your equipment on offer, Mr. Smith? Oh my god, this music! This reminds me of Kingdom Hearts! Oh my god! This is so cool! Uh, well, my new model for this year is the bean launcher. 
It's got an incredibly long firing range. You can bean someone with it from up to a kilometer away. It's made from lightweight materials, making it easily portable. And most important of all, it looks more beanie than real beans. And that's, uh, the idea at least. No wonder you call yourself Smith. You legitimately crafted a long range bean blaster. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, it's a real beaut, isn't it? But it's not up for sale. With cash, at least. I'm aware. We have to offer a barter, yes? Either supplies or a rare person item of personal interest to you, I believe it was. Exactly! Great, if we're already on the same page, let's skip straight to negotiations. What have you got for me, eh? Will this be suffice for an offering? <laughs> what is this glossy see-through mushroom? That transparent color, those gills that look like icy fangs, that's an icicle mushroom. They're rarities that only grow 3,000 meters above sea level in magically dense environments. Whoa, you scored a real life SSR item? One valuable enough to make Sam's jaw drop even? That's next level, Jade. Where did you get this little imp? I raised it myself at the botanical garden. I suspect that even a vendor of curse like Curious? 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 Like you, can't help something this exotic readily in stock. Would you consider it a fair trade for the bean launcher? Absolutely! I'll take any- I'll take that deal any day of the week. Wonderful. This should come quite in handy for the farmer team. Hmm? I'm hearing footsteps outside the store. Whoa! 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 Someone else is approaching my hiding spot. I know that unhurried gate. That's a monster team member approaching, and a rather formidable one at that. I'll need to conceal myself. The same. Now, where would I be less likely to get spotted? Oh wait, that was Jade. Sam, may I borrow this spot? Huh? I mean, sure, but is that really where you want to hide? Yes, it should be fine. For me. I like the way you think, little imp. Okay, it's all yours. I'll go fetch the bean blaster from the back. <laughs> I should be able to get the drop on my assailant here. It will be a bit cramped, but shut the door and there. Okay. So who is it? Who? Who is it? I'm scared. Yeah, I knew Ida was Mr. Smith, though, bro. I totally called it. Come on out, Jade. I know you're in there. Oh, okay. This is a little, you know, this is getting interesting. This is getting spicy. Oh my god. Well, we know that Jade doesn't get captured, so he outsmarts Azul. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Of course it's Azul. I know those Claritin footsteps anywhere. I wouldn't do to answer, uh, uh, wouldn't do to answer him, of course. We're currently on opposing teams. I'll just lie low, keep my breathing as quiet as possible, and wait it out. Why do you think Jade would even be here, Azul? Because this store is a place to purchase special gear from Mr. Smith, aka Ida, for the duration of the tournament. Last year, when I was a farmer, he furnished me with a particularly... <laughs> um... Pucent? Bean Blaster? <laughs> And it just so happens I told Jade about it. There's no way he'd pass up an opportunity to get such a game-changing piece of gear. He certainly got my number. There's no worse enemy than an associate who's wise to your tricks. Jack, do you see the replica skeleton on the desk behind the counter? Open its mouth for me, if you would. What, like this? Oh, that's where... Oh, cool, a hidden doorway. Wait, is uh, someone inside? Hey, get out here! Yeah, this is bad. They found me. Ida! Wow, Azul was right. I don't see Jade inside, though. Ah, I was wondering what all the hubbub was about. Hey, guys, terribly sorry for leaving the front unmannered. What can I do for you, little imps? Sorry, but I'm not here to shop. I'm playing a little game of hide-and-seek. Sam, Ida, Ida, Ida? Ida, <laughs> if you don't mind my asking, I'm looking for Jade. Octo Vanille's vice house warden. Has he been by? Come now, what self-respecting business owner would violate his customer's trust by talking about them behind their backs? L look, I'm a farmer this year. I can't share intel with the monster team. 
Azul, you are aware that the school store is a neutral zone, right? Why, of course, Sam. I believe the rule is all forms of roughhousing are prohibited within the school store, yes? I won't damage a single item on your shelves. As soon as I find Jade, I assure you, I'll be out the door. Jack, do you think you could pinpoint Jade's location with your olfactory old factory expertise? <laughs> okay. I could, sure. I might even do that as long as you don't order me around. Hey, that smell. Found him! He's behind the stack of crates in the corner! Ready or not, Jade! Well, clearly he's not. <laughs> clearly he's not back there because he gets away, so how? I've got you now! Wait, what in the world? What is this, a scarecrow? It's wearing Jade's... Oh, Jade's clothes. <laughs> Jade's clothes! Oh no! <laughs> Jack, watch out! Don't pull on that! Huh? Well... That's not good. Oh no, I broke a bottle. Ugh, whatever was in it stinks to high heaven. That's a distinctive unripe odor. I believe that was a bottle of durian juice you just broke. Blast. With the smell filling the store, there's no way I can snip someone out. Jade laid this trap for us, no doubt. He certainly knows how to be a nuisance. I'm afraid we'll have to take the L, as it were. Let's go. <laughs> take the L? <laughs> Let's go off the search and move on. Oh my god. Are you sure? This is Jade we're talking about. Now that your sense of smell has been removed from the equation, searching around blindly would be a waste of precious time. But yes, before we leave, Sam, you can bill the broken bottle and any associated cleaning expenses to Leona. Oh, uh, wait, what? Will do! Oh yeah, because Leona is still under the contract with Azul! <laughs> That's so funny! Oh my god, like, uh, uh, Leona still owes him favors. Hey, you don't have to stick Leona with the bill, I'll pay! Azul, wait! That's so funny. <gasps> oh my god, 10 out of 10 would want to see this again. Oh my god. Yeesh, they're finally gone. Azul's too spooky for me. Did Jade legit pull a disappearing act, though? He's right here. Huh? The walk-in freezer? <laughs> Thank you kindly for opening the door, Sam. Whoa, it is frigid in there. You'd have to be out of your mind to dive into a minus 10 degree environment without being geared for that kind of cold. <laughs> I grew up in the deep northern seas. I'm actually right at home in freezing temperatures. I'm just glad Azul brought Jack along like I was hoping he would. I do hate to see a painstakingly rigged trap go to waste. Wait, so that whole setup was a counterplay specifically against Jack? Correct. Jack's keen nose is a tremendous boon when we're allies, but it is an equally tremendous hazard when we're enemies. And that's before accounting for swiftness and stamina. I was 100% certain that Azul would team up with Jack for this game. That's like... 4D chess maneuvering. What were you gonna do if you were wrong? I would have accepted that Azul outplayed my prediction and given up the game. Now then, I think it's about time I rendezvous with Cater's group. Why are you pulling out your smartphone, little imp? You know it's against the rules, right? Ah, uh, this isn't direct communication. I'm checking Cater's magic cam feed. Thus, it's legal. He keeps posting photos everywhere he goes. My plan is to predict his path and catch up with him. His most recent post has him heading for the school's building straight towards Main Street. I'll detour around and head from higher ground. Uh, aren't you guys on the same team? Is there a point in deterring around him? Let's just say I have an idea. I'll be going now. Oh, that was so good, bro. That was so good. <gasps> this one's so good. But I do like Malleus just being, like, around all the time. Like, I just, you know, I just love that. These trees provide ample cover, and more to the point, a perfectly unobstructed 8 o'clock view of Main Street. It's your time to shine, Bean Launcher. Let me see if you live up to your specs. And then we know what happened here, right? Because this is the, we saw this already. <laughs> I knew Cater would have some monsters following him. And what have we here but Rook and Trey? Oh, wow! Look at Jade, bro! I've been waiting for this chance. 
It's easy to get complacent when your victory is in sight. How it must feel to go for that final triumph lunge only to wind up eliminated. There's a simple way to find out. Let's see if the look on surpri of surprise on the monster team members' faces when I'm done with them. Ah, oh, this is such a good image, bro. Oh my god, this was so fun. Oh man, yes, oh, this one was so good. And I love the confirmation that Ida is Mr. Smith. I did call it. Thank you. Well, now the only questions for Beans Day Part 2 that I would have is how did Valius get eliminated? Or did he get eliminated? Um, and then... I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm like really wondering about Malleus and then also like why Floyd decided to play in the game and then what Floyd was doing. Because obviously we know that the farmer's team didn't win. Like we know that the farmer's team lost, which means Floyd also lost. So what was he doing? B, oh, SR Vil, R Jamil, SSR Floyd, SR Rook. Okay, so yeah i don't remember what i don't remember vil doing things but yeah i don't know if there's anybody that can like outsmart malleus 